All right, today is sandblast the frame day. Mobile sandblaster, dustless sandblast. I try to do it by hand. Just too many corners and nooks and crannies. Just time to write the check. So, trying to figure out how far forward I want to go. But here she is, and we'll do a little before and after. We actually did a pretty good job clearing it out of here. It was thick, caked on rust, but the surface now. So, let's see. All right, y'all. Final product's pretty sweet. Ton of sand. Homie was awesome. Just way better to write the check on this one. He wanted 500 bucks, I gave him six. Nice guy. Great job. So, brother's helping out. Ready to go. Got to throw down some primer. We let it dry for a few hours. And we're gonna hit all the nooks and crannies. All right, about a week after priming and sandblasting the frame, came out really, really nice. Just way better than I could do by hand. Took about two hours with this guy. Tons of sand everywhere, but came out just awesome. So today, looking to begin urethane painting. So we'll see how this product turns out. So I'm gonna try the poor 2K urethane. It's like a two coat, or excuse me, two part with, you got your paint thinner, hardener, urethane I believe don't check me but um, got to do 20% here 20% paint thinner to get out some bubbles I guess so we'll see I'm just gonna paint it on a little bit on the back end and see how it goes See how this goes. Pretty runny. Still, stirred it for like almost five minutes pretty hard. Hardener, or excuse me, 15% paint thinner on it. There's about 17 after a non scientific pour on it, but I've seen people do up to 20%, and supposedly when it had no bubbles with the finish on it, so I don't care a ton if it has little bubbles, but 
yeah, it'd be cool if it was a nice solid surface. And one little cup went pretty darn far. Let to see how you can see the colors on it, the finish, Get as close as we can. Pretty good finish. I like it. Do a few more layers on it. So, the one little cup went pretty far. We're painting the deal. How are you painting? With urethane. So Court got us, or Pint, I don't know, got us almost halfway, and I'm stoked with how this came out and how it's looking. So it's really gummy and thick right now, and you can see, let's see. There we go. Let's see if you can get a better angle. It's got some bubbles. I went 17 to 20% thinner, which they recommend to get these bubbles out, but this is what it is, but I'm out great. I'm going to think I'm going to do one more light layer over the whole thing, but it came out awesome, so we're moving. Frame fully painted, sandblasted. The whole bit, pretty, pretty stoked how it came out. It was the poor 15 urethane paint. It was okay. I had to um, paint thin it a lot to get it to not bubble. Let's see if I can get a finish. Let's see. It's it's pretty cool. It's it's thick. It continuously hardens with moisture in the air, so it's good. I'd love to see what else people use for frame paint. Um, yeah, I've been spray painting around it. Spray painting leaf springs, the differential. I think it turned out great. So, pretty stoked how it came out, but now it's time to put that back on. And I put these rubber they're literally just um, Tractor Supply Company horse mat. Notched in a little bit. Inset these so it's not a steel frame on aluminum frame of the camper. So that and help with a little bit of the shaking, rocking, vibration the whole bit. So that'll help. And going to mock up some mounts here with how to mount exactly that up so we will see still catting a lot of it and pretty pretty fired up on it